This episode showcases a list of the best small aircraft with emergency ballistic parachutes. It's a short list, but we'll talk about each aircraft's technical specifications, performance numbers, and current market prices. So stick around to see which one we chose for the top spot. Rocket-launched parachute systems were first introduced in the 80s by inventor Boris Popov, but these were mostly installed on hang gliders. Nowadays, Ballistic Recovery Systems, or BRS, come standard on Cirrus and Icon aircraft, not just an added safety feature, but as a unique selling point. BRS is an attached glider or parachute that can be deployed in an urgent situation, and even a passenger without a pilot's license can release it with just the pull of a lever. It can now be built or retrofitted on Cessnas, Vans, Cubcrafters, Lance Air, and other small aircraft. While its efficacy is still being debated in the aviation industry, this technology is reported to have already saved over 400 lives. That's why we believe it deserves to be looked into. This is Roxanne, and you're watching Aviation Federation, sharing with you exciting information about the latest and greatest in aviation and beyond. At number 3, let's start with the Cirrus SR-22. The Cirrus model is a 4- or 5-seater single-engine aircraft, first produced in 2001. It is propelled by a Continental IO 550N engine that generates a maximum of up to 310 horsepower. It moves in an 18-gallon-per-hour gas mileage while reaching an optimum cruise speed of 183 knots true airspeed. This plane can travel 1,169 nautical miles of range and can attain a peak altitude of 17,500 feet. It has a gross weight of 1,328 pounds and a climb rate of 1,270 feet in 6.45 seconds. From the highly sought-after SR-Class and preceded by the SR-20, the SR-22 remains the latest and most advanced light aircraft from Cirrus. Designed as a low-wing cantilever monoplane built of composite materials, it has the Cirrus airframe parachute system, a standard equipment, and the first-ever blue-level button autopilot. Pilots may be updated quickly by its synthetic vision technology terrain awareness, and satellite awareness systems. The SR-22's cabin features air conditioning, leather performance seats, built-in oxygen, and remote keyless entry system that is accessible to passengers. It now has a base price of around 925,000 US dollars. At number 2, we chose the Icon A5. This is an amphibious light sport aircraft designed and manufactured by Icon Aircraft in California. It is powered by a 100-horsepower Rodox 912 IS sport engine, which is known to be highly reliable and lightweight. It has a maximum speed of 95 knots, or about 175 kilometers per hour and a maximum range of 427 nautical miles or 791 kilometers. The fuel consumption rate is at 3.8 gallons per hour on cruise with a 20-gallon fuel tank. It has a total weight of 1,500 pounds or 685 kilograms and can accommodate up to two passengers. The Icon A5 was introduced to the recreational aviation market for owner pilots with a light sport aircraft or LSA license who wish to enjoy short hops. This plane was designed to be easy to fly, lightweight, and have low operating costs. It uses the Garmin G3X touch display with optional two-axis autopilot and situational awareness, integrating well with other Garmin avionics systems for seamless control and display of information. Among its safety features are the standard ICON parachute system, or IPS, 
that can be deployed even as low as a few hundred feet, angle of attack or AOA gauge, and spin-resistant airframe or SRA. The starting price for the Icon A5 is now around 400,000 US dollars. Before moving on to the number one spot, please remember to leave a thumbs up and comment down below. It only takes a few seconds and it really helps to grow our community. And now at number one, we have the first ever jet with a full ballistic parachute, the Vision Jet. Initially called the SF-50, Cirrus unveiled the mock-up of this aircraft in 2007 and recorded its first flight in 2008. This small jet is powered by a Williams International FJ-33 5A engine that has a peak power of 310 horsepower. It has 305 knots of cruise speed, 1,275 nautical miles of maximum range, and it can fly at a maximum altitude of 31,000 feet. This very light jet, or VLJ, only requires 2,036 feet of takeoff distance and can accommodate 1,400 pounds of payload and seat up to seven passengers. It is the first aircraft to have a unique combination of composite design V-tail and retractable tricycle landing gear. A clamshell door on the left side of the fuselage provides access to the cabin that is considered to be the largest in its class, despite its small frame. This pressurized cabin offers plenty of comforts, including panoramic windows, accent lighting, climate control, and an entertainment display for passengers. Up front, this plane is equipped with a Garmin G3000 avionics suite the Cirrus airframe parachute system, and the Safe Return Emergency Auto Land system, which allows users the ability to land a Vision Jet with only a single push of a button. The asking price? Now, a 3 to 3.5 million US dollars. Among these aircraft options with pre-installed ballistic recovery systems or BRS, which one do you think is the best for your needs? Where do you stand in the debate about emergency parachute systems as a standard equipment on light aircraft? What other aviation topics would you like us to tackle next? Once again, this is Rick San, and you're watching Aviation Federation. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep up to date with our latest videos. Thank you for watching and fly safe!